But Dill, she went through Dumplin' King, and now she's got to go through Normal King to prove that she's the Queen of Xena. Here we are. I like that King just like gave a little like deuces to the camera. He's like, I'm ready, just in case it He's was He's gaming. Awesome. He's a gaming out here. Top four and looking real solid doing it. Pokemon Trainer, a for, somehow this character has become underrated. Uh, but also, Rob continuously has been one of their worst matchups from the beginning of this game. I would say every single time I see King Squirtle, I'm like, I know this is the correct choice to like start off with and get combo stars. People have been bombing that Squirtle left and right. They're not respecting it. That Charizard, though, that Charizard's been cooking something. It almost feels like matchup to matchup and game to game, like which one of King's Pokemon are performing the worst? Which can be a little bit inconsistent, but it also it's entirely dependent on uh, the, the matchup and who you're playing against to see who can shut down which Pokemon. And it's really hard to shut down Charizard, having great burst options, great reversals, good speed overall, the fastest ground speed of all the Pokemon, surprisingly enough. Like, God, it, even faster than Squirtle? Yeah. Squirtle, yeah. Squirtle's better on initial dash, but Charizard is faster dash speed. You gotta, Squirtle's got to big old cardio. wings. He's, he's big. He's flies. <laughs> That's true. Long legs. Swinging arms. Okay, what we're going to see here. Still, yeah, Dill is once again establishing control. And while all three Pokemon are good in their own right for a, a lot of these uh, individual moments, a lot of them also have shared weaknesses. Middling air speed for one, the ability to get off the ledge is another. Uh, and Rob excels at A, having good acceleration, and more prominently, having amazing ledge traffic. Assuming you don't give up your space like Dill just did. Right. Now, what Dill has seemed to have been given up on is playing an honest Rob. I'm starting to see from them in a the few recent weeks. Is it, no, no, it, but like, you know what I mean, right? Like <laughs> I know what you mean. It's just hilarious <laughs> to put it like that. <laughs> Like, I have seen more zero to deaths from Dill lately than ever before, as if, like, something has broken inside them and they've stopped caring about the principles of Smash. They're just here to win now. Hey, man, there's no asterisk on a win. That's right. Well, Barry Bonds. We're getting into some very there's specific one, territory. There is one <laughs> asterisk on a W. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dill up two whole stocks versus King. He's going to start figuring something out now. Charizard's not going to do it, and Squirtle's not going to do it. Maybe Ivysaur? Yeah, but Ivysaur is getting a flummox immediately. Razor Leaf does not stand up to Gyro, and it comes to that mid-range. You have that down air, but you've got to land more than those. More than right. just one in order to close out the stock. Okay, Dill. Oh, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're instantly on the Charizard. Pivot cancel forward tilt right out of the go. corner. Sometimes you got to play a little bit up-tempo. you got to try and get something to happen by just finding that first hit. Right, and DeKing unfortunately getting that first hit, but while Dill still had invincibility. Oh, no. Oh, just the run up grab. Yeah. This, oh, <laughs> thank you. nice encouragement from the trainer. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you, Red. <laughs> That's the kind of encouragement we like to see here. Good sportsmanship. Oh, God. If we could have a freeze frame of just the moment that hit and the Pokemon trainer just in disbelief yeah, in the background. Yeah, let's check out that final stock. He runs over. Runs over, right? going really, really slow. <laughs> Look at him. Like, what He's happened? looking at us. He's, like, how <laughs> He's dare breaking you? the fourth what? wall here. Like, did you like, see that? How dare you? Yeah, yeah, we saw that. <laughs> can't believe it either. I, I, I can't believe you've done this. I'm going to have to go and catch another Squirtle. I'm going to go at Route 1 to start farming. Yeah. <laughs> Evolve your Squirtle, lunatic. That's right. <laughs> you have stones. Aw. Uh, yeah, King not happy with that. Obviously I mean, disappointed in the performance there, but uh, right? it is, it is. But they have to believe in their trainer. Oh, and they're, they're swapping it out we're for a better trainer. trainer. Yeah, a new trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th okay. This guy's not cutting it. Clearly, Leaf is the better trainer. Yes. That's my color, so I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I usually see King do default as well. This color is significantly better. Yeah, yeah I know. He, red is washed. He picks male trainer, too, who just constantly has sinus issues. <laughs> go, go. Go get him, Squirtle. Go get him, <laughs> like, brother, blow your nose. <laughs> He's been trying to for eight years, bro. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Never thought about it. I do like the stage pick, though. Hollow Bastion is, uh, offers a lot of what Smashville does, but you get a little bit extra space to move. I believe it's the same size as FD. It's the same Blast Zones as FD, ah, same okay. bottom stage width, but the platform is just literally take it from Smashville and put it on here. It's actually not... It's exactly the same height as Smashville. It isn't? I no, it's, it's, it's ever lower. so slightly. So what's funny is, Ooh, 
it, it's above the PS2 platform, but below the Smash Bros. platform. Really? It's yeah. Right? It's that it's, little it's, hair between? Yeah. It's literally unique in, like, why. But, yeah. I was looking at it the other day because I was talking to Tilde being like, hey, you might want to, like, use this stage because, you know, unlike Smashville, you, you can take people off the top because that's a normal ceiling. Yeah. Anyway. So no matter what the on stage, the screen, though. Dill yeah. is going to take those stocks. Yeah, and, and even off the top as well. We've been seeing a lot of up airs come out, a lot of pressure, but the down tilts are a true block string. Right. Unable well, to get through. Like any bad barber in your life, a little off the top means the whole thing. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad haircut. But we all have that one friend. <laughs> that one friend. You never tell them. And if you're listening right now, you're like, I... My haircut's great. No, no, sorry. Sorry, boss. Oh, Get a new mirror. Are we getting a little off the top here? Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just taking the hedges out for a trim. That's right. How long can we keep this metaphor going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it can keep going. Hey, don't this stop is just coming. like the gossip. <laughs> oh, reading the tech roll in. And I like the full hop there as well. Still able to catch Rob, but trying to drag to the platform. Get, create some extension there as this Ivy Sword's putting on a pretty good, pretty good amount of damage. Right. Holding steady. King trying to use that range to get back on. Trying to mix up the recovery. He's managed to get back. Takes center stage, but what are we going to see here? No, nothing yet. Still plenty of gas in the tank from Dill. I almost rather, I almost rather would have seen up air there from, excuse me, from King instead. Like just try and continue the advantage take instead of immediately giving Dill back ledge. Yes. Oh, really good parry. What are we going to see here? No, forward tilt. Oh. oh, we are stuck. Good jump out there from King. Seeing the stagger pressure from Dill. Looking for this stock, but that's another up air. Oh, good right DI, the but the rage takes it uh, that extra that extra little bit across. Yeah. And a little off the top. And Dill moves on. I believe the King is out in fourth place. Yeah. Dill's wow. Queen is Eno overcoming two kings. Dang, Dumpling King and King. Honestly, the new monarch. Just call her uh, Queen of Xeno, King of Smash. Sorry, wait, no. I'm trying to make a Queen of Scots reference, that doesn't work. <laughs> Never mind. Ignore me. We'll workshop it. It's fine. Yeah, we'll workshop that. Thank you. Thank you for helping me workshop this. Oh my gosh, but you can't workshop that match. This isn't yeah. Tekken 8. You can't uh, go 10 seconds oh back God, in the replay that's yet. So cool. So fun. That's so cool. And right, speaking of which, oh. that was an excellent kill. Yeah, a lot of this situations. felt very, felt very stable. Like just to go back to the beginning of this, right? Like right. we're seeing Dill, pause, go back, go back. We're right no, here. No, we're, uh, no, three, three point five is like an interaction. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, okay, right, okay. right here is good. Right here is good because we are, we're gonna, we're gonna slow this down a little bit. Watch the nair, uh -huh. and we're gonna see that oh. because Charizard had the top in hand. Right. There was no immediate access. We may see the top right there. Yep. There was no immediate access to up smash out of shield for Charizard. There was still up B out of shield, but that's a much higher commitment. So, what I, what King tried to do instead was a down toss into something like maybe an up air, or at very least you just win the interaction. It's good oh, awareness yes. on the part of King. When does he throw it? Who does he, not he throw just, it, actually? He just throws it too late because Rob yeah. Nair is minus two. You're right, so you're right. You, are able to beat out the, any potential toss with whatever button you're pressing. Mm -hmm. Typically, it's something like a down tilt or a jab because Charizard's so big. You're more con uh, Dill is more confident in up tilts one and two connecting, mm -hmm. which then confirmed into the stock. Ah. So just like good awareness on the part of Dill to a continue the block because you know that King is getting desperate. You know he's playing up tempo, mm -hmm. and b extra awareness in order to stay directly into what is traditionally like this massive cone is where Charizard's up smash typically hits. It covers so much space. But because Gyro's in hand, you don't have to worry about that move at all. Dang. He has to throw the Gyro before he's able to input, an, uh, input right. a normal. And usually you want to like take control of the Gyro, but in this situation, definitely the wrong play because you just lose all of access to your normals. Yeah. And it's just like, a, it's a wrong play that at the time, feels like the right play, but because mm. Dill extended her pressure afterwards, right. after seeing the gyro get caught, that one decision you made that typically would have been like, oh, maybe it's inconsequential, or maybe it's uh, you would consider it beneficial.